Okay, this video is about the individual coils on the TR6 box itself, not the individual coils on the valve covers. Um, this is designed and, and uh, created by Jack Laswell in Texas. I don't know Jack, but I've heard nothing but good things about him. Um, this is his design, and I'm just using it. Um, the coils you need are the AC Delco D510C or equivalent. Shop those, get the best deals. Uh, then you need to buy these parts from McMaster Car. You need to buy the standoffs, which there's your part number. And you need to buy these standoffs, which are a little bit smaller. There's your part number. Uh, you need quarter, ten, quarter 20 bolts, quarter 20 screws, some Loctite, whatever you choose. You need a different harness. Bob Bailey can sell you one of these or make you one of these or you can make your own. He'll give you a schematic, not a problem. This is a stock TR6 harness. We won't use that. Uh, as you can see, it's going to bolt right up to the stock TR6 cover. It's going to go just like that. Um, I did one of these before on the stage smoker car and a post back then and um, questions and stuff like that. Some people ask, does it interfere with the wiper transmission? No, it doesn't. Uh, I'll show that when I wire it up later. Um, the best thing to do is to find the thread on TurboBuick.com, which there it is. And then you'll have the dimensions and the pictures. Um, now back to the TR6. You just have to make sure that the TR6 is switched to individual spark, not waste spark, which is um, switch number four. Other than that, you set the TR6 up as normal and it works. All right, you can see I've already drilled my pattern and I'm gonna start drilling it. I'm gonna mount them up one coil at a time and I'll go from there. Okay, got the first one done. Um, you can see how the standoffs work. The coils are not touching each other. The bottom coil does touch the TR6 though. It comes through the bottom. I would recommend Loctite. And I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat this two more times. Okay, we have bolts, we have standoffs, and then we have another coil. Don't you love how that always happens. Another coil and small standoffs. All right, they're all done, bolted up. And basically all you gotta do now is take it back apart, put it back together with Loctite, we're good to go. And that's how it's gonna mount on the TR6. And all these bad boys are numbered. So you decide which way you want your plug wires to go. Um, if you look on the forum, there's pictures of the cylinder numbering. Um, there's no overlapping, they lay out nice. And uh, Jack responded on my Facebook post last night and said he's done 12 of these and he's had zero coil failures to date. Uh, I know I've had a few coil failures with the truck style coil. Um, so that's a good refreshing bit of news to know there. Um, so here's another option with the TR6. Uh, individual coils in the stock location.